A woman will spend decades behind bars after following, shooting, and killing a man she reportedly saw leaving the scene of a crash. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens joining us live tonight outside the Clayton County Courthouse where Hannah Payne was sentenced today for, ki for killing Kenneth Herring. Latasha. Good evening, Jonathan. Judge Jewel Scott listened to emotional testimony from both sides before deciding Hannah Payne's sentence. Now, the prosecution wanted life in prison without the possibility of parole, but the defense asked for mercy. Life in prison with parole. So the court's total sentence is life with the possibility of parole plus eight years consecutive on the false imprisonment and five years consecutive on the possession of fans. Four years after shooting and killing 62 year old Kenneth Herring, after witnessing him reportedly leave a crash, Hannah Payne sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. She'll have to serve at least 30 of the 43 years ordered by the judge. Before the sentence was handed down, the prosecution and defense both presented witnesses, among them Herring's relatives. No more Christmas, no more birthdays. No more family gatherings. His grandchildren won't know him. I'll never see my brother again, only through pictures. The same sentence that she gave him, I would like, like to see the same sentence given to her. Herring's brother Keith recalled when deputies came to his home to let him know what happened. My life from that point has never been the same. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you give today will be the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Payne was in tears at times as her loved ones talked about the person they knew her to be. I have witnessed her servant's heart more times than I could be permitted to talk about today. After the sentencing, the DA addressed threats both families say they received amid the coverage of this case. I ask that you do not, do not threaten either family. It's a tragedy all the way around. Justice has been served. The jury found Ms. Payne guilty, so please do not threaten. And just a few minutes ago, Hannah Payne's attorney says they will file a motion for a new trial and based on the outcome of that motion, they will take the next steps to quote, make sure she gets the fairest treatment possible. We'll let you know what happens next. All right.